How's it going guys? Jim here at SPFBuilding.com. Alright, in this video what we're going to look at is a 9.5 deck, 351 Windsor. It's Darts Iron Eagle. It's their top of the line block. Something you're going to use to make 2,000 horsepower. A lot of guys buy them to make even less, but there's some uh, specific differences with regards to the, to the Iron Eagle versus the Sportsman or the SHP. Let's start at the front here. First thing you'll probably notice is this fitting that is in the oil filter, <coughs> sorry, oil pressure um, area. And the the difference with this block is, you know, versus the versus the the SHP or the Sportsman, is that's a dash 10 fitting there. It's not a tapered pipe thread. Um, so you will have to, let me pull it off for you, you will have to figure out what you're going to do there. Um, to reduce it uh, for your oil pressure. The roll this back over. We'll go up to the cam bearing here. The cam bearing is the same as your SHP and your Sportsman. Um, the the actual housing bore is um, two two hundred on all five of the uh, the cam journals. Um, the bearings have different, all five bearings have different IDs, okay, to fit the, you know, a stock Ford cam journal, but common uh, outer diameters. So these are all 2200. You'll use, um, or I would use, that bearing that we looked at before, the SBF 1T. That would be the bearing, the cam bearing that I would use. Uh, the front of this block is pretty much similar to all uh, your, um, your SHP and your Sportsman. <clears throat> your two uh, large freeze plugs here. Timing chain cover area is the same. Nothing has really changed there. Um, threaded oil galley plugs, all three of them. Uh, nothing's really changed there. What we'll do is we'll look at some other big differences. <coughs> Excuse me. And the first one is in the lifter valley here. You'll notice a few. There is a crossover here and the regular crossover here. You can use those and tap those to restrict oil. Um, going upstairs and so forth. But the biggest thing you'll notice is that it does have this raised portion that's not drilled and tapped for a spider, uh, for the spider tray for a dog bone setup. But what you're going to notice is, let me roll this over pretty far here, is that a regular dog bone is not going to fit in here anyways. This block is, is from Dart as Machine, but I don't know, somebody went in here um, and I don't know what they were doing. and It wasn't from Dart. Um, but you'll notice that a dog bone is not going to fit right off the bat. There needs to be a bunch of machine work here. You have to cut this back, cut this back. Um, and it's simply not worth it in my opinion. And if you're using this type of block, um, the, the chances of you using a dog bone and spider tray setup is, is, is pretty slim, I would think. 